Today is March 8th, and today's quote is entitled, Choosing to Offend. And I know none of us think that we choose to offend. It just seems like it just happens. So let's discuss that. A devotee's behavior can never cause you to criticize or offend him or her without your willing choice to do so. In other words, when someone acts in a specific way towards us, there's this feeling that they caused us to respond in a specific way. So I may offend a devotee, and I think I'm offending them because of their behavior towards me. So the purpose of today's quote is, is to make us realize that nobody can cause us to do anything. Now you might say, I'm just responding to their behavior towards me, and it's a natural response. Yeah, it's natural if you're under the modes of nature. It's not natural if you're in Satvagun, because in Satvagun, you will only respond from the platform of Satva. What to speak if you're transcendental? So if I'm responding to anger with anger, that means I'm responding to passion with passion. That means the passionate activity of another, another person has thrown me, or I allowed myself to be thrown under the influence of the mode of passion. If a person is responding or doing something out of ignorance, and I respond out of ignorance, then I'm responding to that mode of ignorance with more ignorance. Now, obviously, as a devotee, we would want to respond from something higher than passion or ignorance, at least goodness. So, a devotee is unkind to me, and I understand that I should be forgiving, I should always be kind, I should be equipoised, I should be sympathetic, understanding, and so forth. Maybe they're just having a hard time. So ideally, I should respond with something better than the anger they're throwing at me. And that's why in today's quote, I said, nobody can cause you to respond in any specific way unless that's how you choose to. Now, as I said in the beginning, I know you probably don't feel like you've made that conscious choice. But let's just discuss this idea for a moment. Ultimately, Krishna gives us a choice to do anything and everything. So even if we're responding under the influence of the mode of passion, in a remote sense, we must say that I've chose to allow the mode of passion to force me to act. So yes, okay, now I can say I'm forced to act this way. But I've chose to allow the mode of passion to cause me to act this way. And you might say, I didn't choose the mode of passion. But we can say, but by lifestyle, but by sadhana, if you're allowing yourself bad sadhana, making bad choices in your lifestyle, that means you're allowing yourself to be influenced by the mode of passion. So there's some something behind this cause and effect relationship where you make choices which now have uh, reacted or, or fell upon you in a particular way that you're coming under the control of mode of passion. So in the moment, you may not feel like it was a conscious choice, to get angry. But the fact that you're allow that you haven't dealt with your anger issues or you're allowing yourself to remain in the mode of passion means you've made choices about how you'll act and think and choices about the quality of your sadhana. Could be many things, quality of your relationship, quality of your chanting, that now are affecting you in such a way that this is how you're reacting. So if you accept that, that ultimately nobody causes me to act other than me making my own decisions, how I will respond to situations. Then, just by thinking of that, you remember that when you're disturbed by a situation, that I don't have to react according to how I'm feeling right now. I feel like becoming upset, but I don't have to. I can act from some higher consciousness. I'm not bound to act by the mode of passion. I may think I am, it may feel like I am, but knowing that I have a choice is very empowering. And so sometimes I say, Krishna's gift to us is choice. Because if he didn't give us the gift of choice, we would be totally bound to act according to the modes of nature. So because he's given us a choice, it means we're not totally bound. And the gift we give ourselves, Krishna gives us the choice. That's a gift. Now when you get a gift, if you appreciate the gift, you utilize the gift. So our gift to ourself is to utilize the gift Krishna has given us. The gift of choice. And you can always choose, even if you think you can't. Hare Krishna.